Cajoli bag, the snakeskin. We need sneakers for our comfortable, the classic shoe. It's a win-win, so if you can get it for half the price. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today we're gonna do a fall luxury shoe collection reveal and so it's basically what it sounds like um shoes that i am starting to wear now that it is fall um we kind of transitioned in from summer to fall and it seems like fall is going to be pretty short um i it's getting pretty cold in new york city and it's starting to feel like winter already <laughs> unfortunately um so i thought i would um get this video out um you know in the nick of time so it's in season so i'm going to start with my most recent purchase um, which is a Gucci pair of heels so basically I got these shoes on sale um, my essay called me um, from the sh store Hell Shivers in New York Manhattan New York that they were having um, a 50% off sale on Gucci shoes so she sent me some screenshots and this one actually caught my eye the most and funny enough I was at work when she sent me the um, screenshot and I had a female patient one of my returning patients that we were really we have a really good rapport we're always laughing, talking, um, chopping it up. <laughs> I've been pretty much um, catching up on life. And I actually asked her, I was kind of deciding should I get the white pair or the black pair? And my patient, um, well, my patient and I agreed on the black pair. And as you know, black is my favorite color, hence <laughs> the outfit today. Like, I'm always in black. Um, and then my patient agreed because um, I'm trying to step out of wearing so much black which is really really hard it's such a comfort zone for me um but we agreed on the black pair um so without further ado we're going to open it up so this is a classic green box if you follow my shorts i already unboxed this on my shorts um and i wore them already on a recent trip to jamaica um so um so yeah we're gonna unbox it and yes i wore them already so we're gonna act like this is a new unboxing <laughs> we're taking the top off so this is how they look and i feel like they are so super gorgeous so typically when i get um oh there's a hair so typically when i get my shoes i like to kind of pre-package them or repackage them the way i received it um i just feel like it helps maintain the structure and just like maintain the longevity of the shoe um and essentially just the structure and i like to feel like i'm taking care of my shoes so <laughs> i try my best to do it I, oh i'm not always 100 percent successful with doing it but I do try my best so um, we're gonna take out the um, paper and this is how it looks up close I love it yes it's a peep toe yes it's a peep toe and your heel is out but um the bulk of your feet is covered um here as you can see um and it's a it's more of a summer to to fall shoe so it's a nice shoe to transition from the summer into the fall but the retail was uh, 1100 i got it for about 550 it's very sturdy i love that the heel is thick at the bottom it is pretty tall so you have to know how to walk in heels if you're gonna wear these um it is leather the leather they're so nice and soft and again get into the details um, and then it just says Gucci here I don't know if you can see it let's see I don't know if it's easy to see but it says Gucci there and it reminds me of the 70s like the heel and the block cover here it kind of reminds me of like Austin Powers like groovy like disco 70s so I feel like it's a nice unique um, piece it's not a classic Gucci piece but um, it's giving elegance you know the color is black it can go with a lot and I can't wait to continue to wear these when I originally wore it I wore it with my Tom Ford tights with um, my Wolford sweetheart top and it was a really nice look very clean very classy and I was very happy with it um, so yeah, that's my first one and I'm so excited that I got it on sale when you score a shoe that you love and it's on sale I feel like it's just that much more big of a deal and that much more fulfilling especially for me. So <laughs> So that's my shoe number uno All right, so let me just fix my hair Okay, so the next shoe I've worn already as well so my next shoe is my Amina Muadi and please correct me if I'm pronouncing it wrong I believe it's Amina Muadi this is what the unboxing looks like um, so this shoe you can see I removed the paper 
the paper that the stuffing paper and I didn't replace it so I tried my best but I'm not always successful as I said before and I just love this color I did an unboxing on one of my shorts already um, but I feel like this is such a great fall color it's like it's so regal and royal blue and if I had one word to describe it it would be electric electric I feel like this is like an electric blue it can go with nice dark colors an all black outfit a black outfit with a pop of blue a navy blue outfit it is just so versatile and obviously it has a nice um silver detailing here um it says amina muadi at the um at the sole at the inside of it i mean and i just love love this shoe again i did wear this shoe already and it obviously it's a pump it covers your toes it's pointy perfect shoe it's comfortable i got a 39 and a half and i'm about a seven and a half eight in women's and it fits pretty well i could have got gotten away with a 40 but i definitely couldn't have sized down to a 39 so i would say 39 and a half or 40 and 39 and a half i just made it we love 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 this shoe let me see if i can we love 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 these shoes are good oh and these two I got on sale as well um I believe I got about 40% off of these um I want to say they were about 600 and the retail was a, was over a thousand so I got um a pretty decent sale on these shoes as well so again designer items do go on sale so um, if you're, especially if you're trying to save, but still, um, you know, have luxury items, you can always aim to try to get items on sale. And so next we're going to segue into boots. And um, without, without further ado, <laughs> when you see this big box, you basically know what it's going to be. Uh, so this is the Givenchy Shark boot, the knee high ones. Um, and this is a duster. This is a duster that it comes in, as it says Givenchy Paris on it. So we're gonna take it off. And these shoes especially are important to keep your stuffing paper in. Kinda, as you can see, it kinda keeps the structure of it, if you can see how the stuffing paper is. So, okay, so this is how it looks. This is the classic shark locket. Um, and it's leather, it's black with silver hardware. Um, I got these about two to three years ago, um, and I've been wearing it quite a bit. As you can see, again, I have worn these shoes before. Um, yeah, so this is how it looks. Close up. Yeah, and this is a close up of the locket. And on the other side, and you pretty much unlock it. So twist, and then you can take it off. And then you kind of put it back on, put it back on, and then you retwist it down, and that's how it stays. So that's um. This is the first pair of Givenchy Shark Lock boot that I have, and I really, really love it. Again, it is my favorite color, black, and it's very comfortable. It does have a heel. It's kind of like a wedge heel. Yeah, it's kind of like a wedge heel under it. It's kind of hard to see, but it's like a wedge. If you can see, it's basically like a wedge under here. If you can see the wedge, yeah. Pretty comfortable, goes with a lot, matches with a lot. I typically dress it up with like a bodycon dress. That's how I typically wear it. But this year around wearing these, I plan to wear it more um, street style. I want to dress it down like a bit more casual. Um, I saw a Givenchy beanie that I wanted to get on Satire, the website. So I'm going to go ahead and look into getting that. And um, yeah, I want to wear it with like sweaters and um, just kind of like a more casual look. I will still do dress up looks as well, but I just want to experiment, you know, just see how far I can take them. I like to be versatile with my items and I bought these about two to three years ago. And they're still, you know, because it's a classic boot, it's still um, relevant. And that's why I really love buying classic pieces because you get the biggest bang, the biggest bang for your buck. Um, this season, I was looking low and high for a new pair of designer boots, and I didn't find anything that really, really caught my eye. Um, and then, um, and it wasn't such a big deal, or I didn't, you know, it wasn't such a bummer um, because, you know, I have these classic pieces that are still relevant. So 
can't wait to style these in a more casual way um uh, speaking of shoes that i was looking to get not to go off topic too much but there were a pair of louis vuitton shoes boots that i've been eyeing for the past two years that i cannot get my hand on i almost got the calf the ones that come to your calf high if the calf high ones but i want the knee high like i feel like boots are not as sexy it's more sexy when it's knee high is it just me like does anyone agree let me know in the comment section like are you more of a knee high are you all the way thigh high are you knee high are you calf like i like it when it comes all the way to the knee honey i haven't really experimented with thigh highs but um yeah so i'll insert a picture of those boots if i can find them if they're still on the louis vuitton website and then there's a pair of mason margellas that i really 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 wanted um but um i can't it's so hard to find like so so hard to find um so I, and typically i get my boots in the summertime i start looking for them in the summertime this summer i got kind of lazy you know i didn't really score anything big i did see a pair of jeffrey campbell boots that are heels that i'm looking to get into if I do get that, I will definitely let you guys know. Um, so, like I mentioned, this is my first pair of shark boots. Um, I ended up getting a second pair, which is the newer version to it. And this is the, um, this is like a beige color, a taupe color. And this is what they look like. Uh, let me back that up so you can see it. All right. I can't remember the material. <laughs> I'm sorry. She told me the name of it. Or a specific type. It's not like a smooth leather. It's a... I, I, I don't remember. But if you can see, it's a little... The texture is different. Yeah, the texture is a little bit different. It's not like that smooth leather. And then the locket keys are different. So the hardware is different. So it's gold. And it says Givenchy, if you can see it. Hopefully you can see it on one side. And then the other side has a more sil a silver hardware. So this side is actually silver and gold. Okay, and then it's a beige color. Love, love this. I love that it's a nice step away from black um, because, you know, I love me some black. Again, the wedge heel. Um, me high. And um, I had this one for about a year or two. Um, and again, still relevant. Um, I'm going to try to dress this one down as well and also dress it up. Um, but it helps me. It's still a neutral color, stepping away from black, but still not too far out of my comfort zone. So excited about that. These are a pair of Balenciaga um, sock boots. It's like a darker gray or like a mid color gray. It says black and Balen it says Balenciaga in black, not black and Balenciaga. <laughs> it says Balenciaga in black. And I love, I'm just gonna put one down. And I love that the heel is nice and tiny, very, very comfortable, a little bit narrow. Uh, you know, it's a pointy pump, but it's good for the fall. Um, and it's just a basic heel. Um, I got this about a year or two ago. Can't wait to, um, you know, style it. I saw a few tops. Um, graphic tops actually because I'm like I said I'm trying to go for like a casual dressy look these days so I saw a casual top that I feel like would go really 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 well with these so I can't wait to try it out um, and then again I could wear an all black outfit um, gray outfit I'm gonna try more grays um, the top is like a gray top and I was gonna with with um, graphic designs and then um, I'm gonna try to get um, a pair of gray tights from Wolford because those tights fit really good I have the gray Kajoli bag the snakeskin to match with this so I could wear that bag or I have other gray bags other black bags so so this is the other shoe that I have. Last but not least, and these are actually pair of sneakers. So we need sneakers for our comfortable day. Black arch light um, Louis Vuitton sneakers. It has the monogram detailing and it's black. Yes, um, it's a classic arch light. I still, when I have, I recently went to, into Louis Vuitton store and they did have arch light sneakers on display. So um, it's nice to know that it's still relevant. Um, they're comfortable. I plan to wear it with a chunky black sock with tights. Um, you know, I can also do like more sweats, like loose sweats. Um, so, you know, nice classic sneaker. This is a close up. It says Louis Vuitton on the tongue. Louis Vuitton on the inside. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty much a classic shoe. Um, it's not the most comfortable sneaker because of the arch, um, but 
Um, I got these about three years ago and I haven't worn them much. So this fall I plan on really getting my money's worth and wearing it more. So, And then I have um, quite a few Louis Vuitton bags that will match perfectly with the monogram or I could wear it with a black bag. Again, easy to match. And I've seen people dress this up but this especially I think I'm just going to dress down. So invest in classic pieces again and invest in classic pieces my the gucci um heels are the only thing that i bought new and that's more of a summer into fall transition shoe but for the bulk of the fall shoes i haven't bought anything new again i was looking for a pair of mason margellas as well as um a pair of louis vuitton boots but i was unsuccessful at getting them and i still have enough boots to pretty much take me through the falls fall seems to be very quick and short this year for us in new york city um but my boots and my sneakers um the three boots that i showed and my sneakers i can still wear them in the winter so um you know it also has that versatility as far as the time that i could wear it um i am manifesting I am manifesting a Euro winter trip, so I do have some winter boots that I will show in a separate video, um, and then I have um, like some snow boots, and I have like the matching jackets that I will also reveal with that unboxing or that collection reveal. Um, I do plan to get one more winter boot, so um, winter snow boots. So I'm gonna still deciding if I want to get it or not. So once I make that decision, I'll go ahead and show that reveal. Or re I will. Sh once I make that decision, I will go ahead and show that, uh, make an unboxing or reveal video for that. I do have to get some ready-to-wear pieces. Like I said, I have a Givenchy hat or beanie that I want to get. I have some Alexander Wang um, um, knits. Um, some knits from Woolford. Um, a few things from Lululemon that I do want to... Um, um, purchase so um, I do have a ready-to-wear luxury haul that's coming up soon so stay tuned for that as well if you can grab any luxury sales go ahead because there's no sweeter victory it's a win-win so if you can get it for half the price then why not so that pretty much concludes my haul again thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for my next video